What is up guys? How you doing? It's James here from JRay Games and I'm back today with another tutorial for you on your home VR setups. And today we're doing something amazing. It is full body tracking. And we're going to use VR chat as our game that I'm going to use to demonstrate this. But basically, what we're going to try to do is get tracking from the head to the toe, including your head, your arms, your waist, your legs, everything. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, so full body tracking. Why would you ever want to have full body tracking? Well, I think in the future, full body tracking will be the norm. Everybody's going to want to have it because basically your entire body uh, can be tracked, meaning that I could lie down, I could sit, I could squat, I could stretch, I could do whatever. My legs and everything is going to follow in the correct way. Now, in order for this to work, um, I am going to be using Driver for VR, which uh, uses the Kinect. Um, if you see my previous two videos, part one and two, then you know how to get this set up to this point. I'm also going to be using Nolo VR for this uh, because I find that the tracking of the hands is, is spot on with, with Nolo. It works really, really excellent and it's just a lot less stress in setting up. Basically, we are going to set it up so that we can use the skeleton that Driver for VR comes with to track the rest of our body. It's going to require a few things in order for us to get it to, to align properly. And also what we're going to do is in VR chat, we're going to have to line up a few parts of the body in order for all the parts to move correctly. So stay tuned. I'm going to do that in a sec. We'll switch to my desktop so you can see how to do it. All right, so now that we are ready to go with the uh, setting up of the positional tracking, I'm going to skip a few steps here because I've already shown in part one and two. But I'm basically going to be using Nolo as my uh, head tracking and hand tracking option here. And I'm going to use the Connect, which will take the skeleton, uh, which will convert that part into the body tracking. So in order to set that up correctly, I'm going to start by running Nolo Assistant and I just charged it up so it should be good to go and I haven't turned the controllers on yet so they're not uh, ready yet but we're going to click start game and that's going to launch Trinus PSVR and away we go again it's got to be in admin mode there it is now I'm doing this with a PlayStation VR if you've seen my other videos you know how this works uh, this is the way I typically use my VR but you can do this with your uh, Windows Media, like mixed reality, you could do it with a uh, a Rift or a mobile, whatever you want. Um, it's going to work. Uh, you, the only difference is you'll use Trinus instead of Trinus PSVR. So in here, I'm making sure Nolo VR is turned on. Um, I'm going to make sure my headset is turned on. I'm going to get everything up and running. Um, so give me one second. I'm going to pause right there. I'm going to go turn the headset on. Okay, headset is now on. I'm going to hit start. We're going to get going here. It's going to start calibrating. There it goes. It's very important that you have your headset facing the connect in the same sort of direction going, you know, directly towards the connect. And the way that I have this set up is I have the connect on a table and I have my Nolo base station just a little bit higher sitting on a box. Uh, this is going to give me the same direction, same tracking from the front. And I'm going to just reset, make sure it's nice and calibrated, and then I'm going to jump right into Steam VR. And here we go. Now, when Steam VR loads up, uh, you're going to see the driver for VR window that comes up. We saw it for a second there. I'm going to bring it back here so you can see how that looks. All right, there it is, driver for VR. And I'm going to just take my headset window and I'm going to use shift windows right. I'm going to send it over to the PSVR and I'm going to calibrate driver for VR so that this works properly. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down Steam VR so, you know, we know it's working. Um, the correct settings for this are pretty straightforward. Um, well, I'll just put this down. Um, it's basically going to de detect that we have Nolo for left and right as controllers. So what I can do is for my tracking, I can turn off the head tracking because Nolo will be handling that. 
Uh, we could turn off the hand controllers because Nola will be handling that. But we are going to want body tracking, which will be skeleton. Basically, what that's going to do is our head will be controlled by Nolo, our hands will be controlled by Nolo, but our waist and our legs will be controlled with driver 4VR, which is actually using the Kinect uh, in order to work properly. So once I hit start on this, you're going to see that this is all going to come alive. It's going to tell us that the uh, driver for um, VR FPS and the Kinect are running at a good frame rate. Here we go, it's getting to it. Takes a couple seconds. So there we go, now we got that up and running and we are ready to calibrate. Now, you'll notice that the only options we have for calibrate is calibrate and calibrate new. The calibrate new does not work unless you have controllers connected. So I was unable to get that to go, but the calibrate works just fine. All right, so before I do that, I'm actually gonna spin my camera so you can see what I'm doing and uh, get on to the next step. Okay, I now have my camera facing the right way. Hopefully it's gonna focus on me properly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the calibrate button and I'm going to just turn on the um, mirror in a second. But I'm gonna basically just show you how the tracking system looks. When I go into the uh, play area, which you see over here, hopefully it's focusing on me, you should see a skeleton of me showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the headset on and it's going to ask me to uh, stand in certain positions. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit start or sorry calibrate. Here we go and it's going to tell me how to do it. We're going to say got it. And here we go. Now I'm going to look like an idiot but it's basically going to say just stand still to start. That's what I'm going to do. There we go. Next, I'm going to go to my next position, which will be a couple feet over. I'm going to stand still once again. Good. I'm going to go over to this side, and I'm going to stand still. Good. And then now it's going to say it has to uh, calibrate the height as well. So I'm going to go down a little bit like this. Just got to hold it. Good workout for the legs. <laughs> and I'm going to go down again over here now. And basically now it is calibrated for my body. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my NOLO controllers, which I've got here. I'm going to turn those on. And in a second here, I'm going to turn. Actually, I should turn on the mirror now so you guys can see what I see. Okay, so I got the mirror up and running now. And I'm going to just walk in to show you what I just did. I'm going to put the headset on. And you're not going to see anything too exciting. It just looks like typical sort of steam room. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my controllers on. And now we're going to see the effect of calibrating. And let's just get these loaded up. Here we go. Now when I press the menu button, um, it looks like everything is typical kind of setup here. Except when I look down. And you can see when I look down that I have got a waist and, a, and feet trackers that are following me around everywhere I go. Now the cool thing about that is, is that those are going to track the movements of my avatar, both the waist and the feet of the avatar. You can see how they respond when I move my feet, when I move my waist, that is moving properly. Now one thing that I do to make sure it's going to work properly is I go to my advanced settings and you can add this attachment or this add-on if you don't already have it. I go to my play space and I just make sure that my feet are on ground level. If I press mine, this is probably going to be way too much. It is, now they're floating. So what I can do is I can click right in that box and I can put in a value, let's say, of even point 0.1, just a tiny bit, so that my feet are on the ground. Okay, that's really important because when we go into the game, we're going to want to be able to see those trackers on our feet. We might have to adjust that more. But uh, now we can go back in and hit cancel. Now I'm in the thing. Now you can't see those trackers when you're just looking, uh, you know, within the game room. Those are invisible, but we will see them when we go to 
to uh, VR chat. So I'm going to just go to the board, pick VR chat, launch it. And in the gray screen we see here, now we can see those trackers show up again. They're there. And hopefully we're going to be able to align ourselves to the avatar that we pick in VR chat. Now it can be tricky. Uh, sometimes I'll do a few calibrations just so I get it right. But if everything is lined up, then it should track nicely. So cross your fingers. We're going to see if this works. Just wait for VR chat to load up. Hopefully it logs in without any problems. I've turned my sound down so that that's not going to be too annoying. And now we are going to go in. Now, I don't mess with the bindings. It asks me if I want to change it. I just leave it as default. It seems to work well. So we'll just hit cancel. And basically I'm going to come into the game here now. And I should enter my room lobby. And this is where we're going to actually set it up so we can use the avatar that we want with the body, full body tracking. Alright, so we come into the game. I can move into my chaperone a little better here maybe. Again, everything's following me nicely. So we're going to wait for the room to load. And in a second here, we're going to be able to line up all of the tracking balls that we have just set up. So here we go. Here we are in the room. Okay. We can see everything is loading. Here we go. And I'm just using my trackpad to move around the room. And there we go. Now we got our hands out. You can see those. And if I look down through kind of the body of the avatar that I'm using, um, I should see those tracking balls. You can see when I lift my legs, there's the feet and there's the waist but nothing's really lined up properly. I'm going to get closer to the mirror so you guys can actually see what, what it is that I'm trying to show here a little better. Let me just hit that there. Cancel. Okay. I've lost my buttons for some reason. I'm not sure why. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the height because you can see that I am too short for this avatar right now. So that's where I'm going to press my menu button. I'm going to go to Advanced. And I'm going to just adjust this a little higher. So I'm going to go negative three, let's say. That should be pretty good, hopefully. We'll hit cancel. Uh, now the balls are floating off the ground a bit. So we know that that's a little too high. Let's go to point two. Now, once you set this, you're not going to have to worry about it anymore. It's a couple of you know, weird options that you set at the start, and then that's it. But now I'm pretty lined up. So I can move my feet into position using the mirror as a reference. And I can set the waist. Where is the waist? There it is. I can just put it somewhere about there. Lift my hands up so they're lined up with the hands of the avatar like so and so. Just get them lined up. And once I click the trigger, check it out. Now everything, including my feet are lined up with the avatar in the game. Now it's not perfect. You can see I got some horrible moves here, but look at that. Check it out. I just kicked the cord. I can kick my feet. I can squat down. Ooh, a little bit of a cross, uh, cross knees there. But as you can tell guys, I have added full body tracking very quickly and easily and now I can play this game and have this full sort of locomotion happening with my body and I just like looking at myself in the mirror and, and watching how closely it tracks it's a pretty weird feeling but this is awesome because now when I'm playing VR chat if, if this is a game that I like uh, now I can do all sorts of cool things like when I sit down or if I if I go right up down on the ground or whatever um, it's going to follow all of those movements uh, pretty nicely. Now, I will caution one thing. Sometimes the avatars that you pick, if they're really crazy avatars, they you know, have some sort of really sort of strange designs, they may not line up properly with the tracking balls that you have. So you do have to kind of watch for that. Uh, a few of them that I've seen 
are weird and they don't track nicely. But if you do your calibration properly and you, you've got your feet set to the height of the floor properly using advanced settings, you will have a very decent result. And as you can tell, this is, this is pretty cool. Um, and, and it's amazing that it can track kind of my body in such a, such a nice way, such a good way. Now you see it's not perfect. Again, I could go back and recalibrate. I could uh, get, it, get it better if I spend a little more time on it. But also you can see that it didn't take very long and it works really, really well. Well guys, hopefully you found that useful and now you can play games like VR Chat with full body tracking and you can impress the hell out of your friends. They're gonna be like, how are you doing that? And it's gonna be pretty awesome. You'll have an advantage over them. You can see that I was using PSVR. You can use uh, pretty much any type of headset and use the same sort of tracking methods um, and it should work. However, in my opinion, Nolo VR for the hand tracking and head tracking is the best. If you want to use PS Move, you can, but you're not going to be as happy as the results that you're going to get with Nolo VR. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will have a lot more content coming up. I make sure to answer almost every question that you guys ask, and I'm trying to get as many people hooked up into VR as possible, uh, it really is going to make the future of VR a lot more successful, hopefully. Be sure to check the description down below for promo codes for Trinus. Uh, you get a 10% uh, discount. And also check the promo code for Nolo VR where you also get a 10% discount, both through this channel exclusively. Till next time, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in VR.